Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fahad. In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you a nice element trick. I will show you how you can place image inside a text like this or like this. I will show you the both ways how you can do it using Elementor free version or Elementor Pro. So let's now go inside Elementor page builder. Alright, so we are now inside an empty Elementor canvas. So let's take a section first, click on this plus icon. Let's select this single column structure. Let's make the content width to full width. And here's the height. Let's make it to a minimum height. And I'm setting it to in VH. Let's make it 100 VH. So it would cover 100% height of the viewport. Now let's click on the Rubik's Cube icon and drag a heading widget inside it. And here I wanted to say image in text. Let's now make the alignment to centered. Now go under style tab. Text color. Yeah, this one is important. You need to set the text color to pure black color. Otherwise, the image in text blend won't work. All right, now let's do some typography. So I'm setting the font family to the Poppins font. Then font weight. I want to make it really bold. So let's set it 900 text transform let's set it to all uppercase and I want to make it really big so let's increase the font size more bigger like this all right now let's select the section so I'm clicking here on the six dots now go under style tab and here first I want to set a background image so from here click on this pencil icon this classic icon now select an image from here I'm selecting this image now click on insert media do some positioning from here so here position let's make it to center center attachment to scroll repeat to no repeat and size i want to set it to cover cool now let's select the column so here is our column so i'm now clicking on this edit column icon and from left let's go under style tab here and we need to make the background color of this column to pure white color. So from here, background type, click on this classic pencil icon. And from here, color, let's set it to white. So we are done almost all the settings that we need to do. So now here's the main trick. So just make sure you're selecting the column. And let's now go under advanced tab. And from here, you can see the custom CSS, expand it. And you will only find the custom CSS option if you are using Elementor Pro. If you are not using Elementor Pro, I will give the Elementor Pro purchase link in the description. You can get Elementor Pro from that link. So here I'm just typing selector and then inside it. Here I'm typing mix blend mode and the value would be screen. Here you go. Now you can style it a bit more to pop up it more. So here first I want to add some margin at the left and on the right side. So to do that we are already under advanced tab. From here click here on advanced. Now let's unbind the margin. And I want to give the margin in percentage. So on the right side I want to give it 15%. And on the left let's add 15% margin. And this time I want to reduce the font size a bit. So let's go under the style tab and from here, oops, we are on the column level. So now click here on this pencil icon and now from under the style tab, click here on typography and let's reduce the font size a bit. Let's keep it 160 pixel. And now I also want to add some padding at the top and bottom. So let's now go under advanced tab. Now let's unbind the padding. Let's add 30 pixel of padding at the top or maybe 35 pixel also let's add 35 pixel padding at the bottom like this all right now i want to add some overlay on the background so then the text would pop up more so let's click here on the six dot to select the section now from under style tab let's scroll down here is the background overlay option click here now click on background type and from here I'm selecting the color to a pure black color and you know you can control the opacity from here if you drag the opacity bar to the right it will become more darker if you drag it to the left it will be more lighter also you can set the blend mode from here so here I'm selecting the blend mode to multiply and I'm reducing opacity a bit more like this all right so if you're happy with it you can click here on this green update button to save your work now let's make it mobile or tablet responsive so you know from here let's click on responsive mode 
on the phone view let's just select the text now go under style tab click on typography so on the mobile device i want to reduce the font size let's keep it 50 pixel and let's now go to the tablet device so from top click on the tablet icon i want to reduce it a bit on the tablet as well so let's now click on typography and let's make it 98 or 100 pixel it looks great on tablet as well all right and now let's have a look if you just want to remove the background i mean if you only want to keep this text and remove the surrounding background to do that just select the section so to select the section click on the six dots now go under layout from here column position i want to set it to stretch and here vertical align let's set it to middle and you know this left and right margin are coming from the column that we have given a few minutes ago so to remove it just click on the column icon again go under advanced tab and remove the margin from right and from left here you go now to save our work just click on this green update button it's done so here our main thing is the css snippet we have added here under this custom css this mix blend mode to screen but you know if you use elementary free version you will not get this custom css option so let's now have a look if you are using elementary free how you can do that so i'm removing the custom css snippet from here and now let's go under advanced tab remember we are now at the column level so make sure you are selecting the column and now you are under the advanced tab so here on this column i want to give it a class name so from here you see css classes so i'm giving it a class name that image in text and this time let's now click on this rubik's cube icon and here i'm searching for the html element here it is so you can drag this html element inside anywhere of this page so i'm dragging the html element above this text here now inside the html code here i'm um, typing style tag so here is the beginning of the style tag and here is the end style tag now in between the starting and ending tag i'm typing the class name that we have just given to the column so that's imagine text but put a full stop or dot before that like this and then just follow the way i'm writing so here is another class name that's elementor element populated so inside that i'm typing mix blend mode and you know the value should be screen here we go let's now click on this green update button again to save our work and no worries about this html element because you can't see outside of this elementor editor let's now have a quick look if we minimize the elementor editor here we can no longer see the html element here all right thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel also press on that bell icon so you'd get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel and if you need any professional help for your wordpress project or for your elementor project then you can go to jimfahaddigital.com and you can contact me through that website once again thank you so much for watching the whole video I will see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.